How's it going everybody? This is Flint from Flint and Steel Survival bringing you a quick video before I head off to work. Um, I bought a couple gifts for some YouTubers out there. Um, one of you will probably be able to figure out who you are because I told you I was going to send you something. And another one is going to be a complete surprise and I can't wait to see the look on their face. Well, I probably won't see their face in their video, but it will probably be quite a shock to them anyway. Um, so first off, I'm not going to tell you which either of them's for, but I made, so both of these I wanted to make a leather sheath for, that's what I've been practicing lately. This is going to go out to somebody with this. All I did was open the package, take out the knife. I haven't messed with the factory sheaths, like this one I haven't even pulled close out of the package yet. All I did was cut into the blade, pull it out and uh, make a sheath for it. So I'll probably end up sending them in their new sheaths just to keep them safe during shipping. Um, you're going to get a little more protection from this than you are just a sheet of plastic. So this is going to be the first one. I uh, put one of the Texas Ranger stars on it. The person that this is for I know it's going to fit their style pretty well. And then I actually made this a reverse carry um, belt loop. So that if in a defensive situation you can draw it up and across your enemy. So this one is going to go out somewhere special, have a new home. Um, and the only thing I don't like about both of these sheaths is I punched this last and the sheaths fit perfectly. I didn't even really think about it. But this kind of rubs on the blade on the back. So I ground it down quite a bit. But you can hear it. It just rubs on the side. It actually rubs up here. Um, it's not a big deal, but I'm going to send you this as it is. Um, the factory sheath on this guy looks like that. Um, I'm, I think it's bi-directional. 360 degree clip position. Oh, hey, look. Um, if you look at this sheath, that's exactly how it's set up, too, unless you carried it inside the waistband. It wouldn't be on the right side if you clip that to your belt it would be on the left side too this is more of a backup blade and then I'm also positive you can pull this clip off and thread a necklace through it this is neck knife size but man this is just such a cool EDC size blade that I wanted to make a nice little sheath for it so this will be going out I'm probably gonna end up sending them all out Monday because I have the contest um, winnings to send out that day anyway and then next up is going to be this. This is the CRKT Obake, I think is how you say it. It's got the uh, like katana wrapped handle. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is fake Damascus. But I tell you what, this thing is a razor blade. I don't want to cut anything with any of these, not even paper. And I want them to go as if they were brand new knives, because they are. But I did pop them out of the package just to make a sheath for it. This is the sheath I came up for with this guy. And this is the one that rubs the worst on the sheath. Uh, but I ended up putting washers on both of them to just pull them out as far as possible and leave room for the blade. This one's a little sloppier lines. Um, the person getting this one I know has a uh, Fat Man Tolly custom sheath or a couple and I know for a fact this is not even going to come close to stacking up, but I think it's a nice nice blade, nice little sheath for it, but really uh, smooth, really nice draw, and I left the option if you want, because I'm going to send a Nathan 4071 ferro rod. Um, I tried to epoxy a leather strap around the handle. And it wasn't sticking where it was um, broken. I thought about stitching it up with leather, but it was already after I'd glued it down. So instead of wasting it, I just took some of this leather real lace stuff. It's um, pretty sure, let me, let me grab it, waxed thread. So it's just thread with wax on it. So it's kind of sticky, you know how wax gets. But I looped it up really tight. So now you've got a really good grip. I can't for the life of me pull or push this off. So I think this is going to be one of the uh, better ferro rod handles out there just because I don't I wouldn't worry about 
ripping it off unless you were striking this way for some reason or you know really yanking on it or put this in a vise and pulled it I guess if you really wanted to do that but so these two are gonna be shipped out Monday as well this one's gonna be shipped out to somebody else and I will send it you know factory new box knife and then the extra here and then just like this with the factory box and like I said I haven't touched either sheath in fact I don't even know if this one does come with a ball chain let's see uh, sheath and chain included so it's got the sheath with the clip and the chain and this is the instinct mini I don't know if I mentioned that but both of them are sick blades I stopped by before work this morning to get them I really wanted to send some people some stuff and Walmart's the only thing open when I get off <laughs> I drove by a couple sporting goods stores hoping they were open at 7 they weren't so I went with what Walmart had and their new stock of knives is pretty nice they have some really cool choices so those will be out in the mail shortly and uh, I'm sure we'll see unboxings from both of these gents and uh, yeah so that's all I got for today thanks everybody for watching bye